Most of us don't lose the fitness battle in the gym. We lose it before we even show up. We're overworked, overstimulated, and downright fed up with the repetition of life. But there's a shift happening. Welcome to the age of immersive fitness and beyond. But is this VR revolution truly engineered for everyone? A global health crisis that very few are talking about is that 1.8 billion adults, nearly one third of the world's adult population, are physically inactive. All right, circuiteers, this week there's no time for hellos. We're diving right into a world where the gym is a battlefield. Laziness? Nah. Excuses? Forget about them. Gym intimidation? Ah, please. Mm. Black Box VR was co-founded by Ryan DeLuca, the genius behind Bodybuilding.com. But this is an engineering news show. Meet Sam Lumetta, mechanical engineer and CTO of Black Box VR. He leads a team of engineers who've created a one-of-a-kind immersive experience. You enter a sealed booth, strap in, slip on the headset, and suddenly your gym disappears and you're standing inside a virtual arena. A chest press unleashes fire. A deadlift damages your enemies. Each squat becomes a weapon of mass destruction. Black Box VR is a full body resistance training system powered by AI. No buttons, no weights, just a science backed workout with resistance training plus a hit cardio workout program. And in just 30 minutes, you're burning fat, building muscle and completing as many rounds as you can until time's up. The most points wins. With Black Box VR, you're not just working out, you're leveling up. This is your ultimate fitness partner, engineering you for success. Okay, circuiteers, so for those of you who don't like to leave the house like ever, there's still a way to get swole. Jan Kutjaluk, mechanical engineer, founder, and CEO of Virtuix, had a vision not just to move through virtual worlds, but to run through them. Virtuix's Omni One isn't a treadmill, it's an engineered marvel. A home VR rig engineered with a concave disc, frictionless shoes, a body harness, and of course the VR headset. It's a $3,495 investment in your health or just a $122 a month commitment. Every step, real, every move, measured. You're not just playing a game, you're activating that core that may need a little work. But Omar, what if I can't afford the Omni One? Well, then you'll actually have to leave the house. With 29 locations across the US, Omni Arena lets you compete with friends, engineering fitness into something primal, competition. Whew. All right, circuits here. So we've seen VR engineer strength, endurance, and competition across different devices and locations. But what if the next breakthrough isn't about building strength, but rather relieving pain? Surf VR was built by engineers and USC Viterbi associate professors, Dr. Jason Kutch and Heather Culbertson. At USC's Health Sciences campus, this experimental therapy has emerged. Surf VR is a fusion of haptics, motion tracking, and environmental design, all to combat one thing, chronic pain. You lie on a board mounted to six DOF motion simulators, you put on the headset, and suddenly a breeze brushes against your face. Engineered, yes, it's the wind from a calibrated fan. Soon, waves swell beneath you, you're surfing, yet you're still in the USC lab. This setup allows Kutch and Colbertson's team to test the most therapeutic aspects of surfing on the ocean. But what part of surfing brings pain relief? Is it the feeling of being in the ocean? The sounds and smells of the environment? The adrenaline rush that comes with catching a wave? Colbertson has asked all of these questions and more. And Kutch says that findings from their Surf VR therapy could help develop other therapeutic programs like ones for children with autism spectrum disorder. Three machines, three teams of engineers, and one unified mission to challenge how we move, interact, and heal 
with technology. With Black Box VR, you can weaponize your workout. With Omni One, you can race through virtual worlds. And with Surf VR Therapy, there's potential to heal through immersion. Inactivity is engineered into our lives. Now engineers are fighting back one chip, one platform, one heartbeat at a time. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. Hey, excuse me, can I get another one of these over here? Oh, thank you so much, I'm so tired. <laughs> And a special thank you to the Ming-Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.